was trying to give you your, your time. Oh, uh, no, nah, I wasn't going to go into it. I thought she was about to, like, you know, take the uh, mm-hmm. the microphone and be like, I met me a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'd be my new honey. <laughs> But all she really wanted was to take all my freaking money. I got the welcome back, Triple P. We're back, baby. And do we got something barbecue and sandwiched up just for you? Yes, yes, yes. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. All right, guys, we got barbecue. Pool chicken sandwiches here, mac and cheese, broccoli. But before we get into this, mm-hmm. I need you to do something for me. What's that, B? Get this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Go ahead and comment, comment below, below, baby. And don't forget to share, share it out. out. Share, share it out. out. You guys are new to the channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's play. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal we're about to receive. Please keep our faith strong and bless our friends, family, and loved ones. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, let me get us a fork. Like I said, we got barbecue chicken. We got some sandwiches. We got a nice little slaw on top. And we're going to just do this family style, so we're just going to go ahead and dig in. We do have some uh, bread and butter pickles back here as well. No cheese for the broccoli. I told Bob, how can you eat broccoli without cheese? And he said, please. Let me show you how to do it. <laughs> Let me show you how to do it. You take this broccoli and this mac and cheese, and you make a cheesy broccoli bite, baby. Ah. Mm. Problem solved. <laughs> All right, you want to go ahead and bump these babies here? Let's bump them, baby. Wait, I might want to put a pickle on mine real quick, too. Just... Well, I might as well put a pickle on mine real well, tick, go ahead, quick, too. Baby, you know I like to copy you, baby. Tick, 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 you know I like to copy you. Come on, got to keep up with me then. Bump it, baby. Mm. Mm. Now you're napping already. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm down south in the barbecue house. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Somebody might do I need a bib? I don't mess with my little hoodie. Down south, eating that barbecue. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, good guy. Good and messy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think what it needs. It's a mac and cheese. Oh, on yeah. Top. I was going to say, it just need like a little diaper. Oh. <laughs> That's my problem right there. Keep it all in, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm quick. No oh, way. Let me taste a little bit. Ooh, look at us doing that crisscross action. You know what I'm saying? That's that love is gross. Mm. Ooh, that good. Mm. That's real good, y'all. You see it? I was just about to show you how my bite mac and cheese. I swear I did it because of her. Uh-huh. I'm glad it turned that out okay for you. Yeah, because when you were making it, I was like, eh, I smell a little weird. <laughs> I don't I'm know if that's because I was using Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce. I didn't know Sweet Baby Ray had a sweet, I mean a Say it, sugar-free. <laughs> Sweet, but Miss Shan say ain't nothing sugar free. It's a catch. I feel like there is a catch. Mm-hmm. But this is good. It's still good sugar free. Like I say, sugar free sauce that don't necessarily taste like Pepsi sugar free or you know the sweeteners sugar free. Mm-hmm. You can't really tell what's in there. Especially if they kind of carry it with like a savory, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, we are still drinking Pepsi Zero Sugar. Mm, mm-hmm. 
and I actually bought some leftover <laughs> cherries from my video. <laughs> you guys go check that out, please. Go check out my Shamrock Milkshake Cupcakes. Yeah, maybe I'll eat one on camera after we get done. We didn't bring the up here, but I can come back up with it. Oh, it does, you're right. As soon as you put the straw yeah, in, see? eruption. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Put that straw in Sometimes there. it just happens that way. Can't help it. It's going to erupt if you put it in. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing today? We hope you're doing well. Hmm. Mac and cheese is good. Oh, we had a great weekend. We got, oops, we always send you positive vibes, best thing in love. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Okay. I see what you mean by. Oh, taking the two and two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotcha. Works out just fine. I sure you gotta tell your customers at the <laughs> store. You'd be like, "Ain't no broccoli. You eat it with the mac and cheese." <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's trust me. Mm-hmm. You have pickle on yours too? Mm hmm. I'm good with pickle, huh? Mm hmm. It really was. Mm hmm. Toast are good. And I think this is my first time ever putting, uh, eating barbecue pulled chicken. Hmm. I know I did the pulled pork. I think mm -hmm. I never did the pulled pork one time. Mm. When I did that challenge. Mm. Yeah, sometimes the pulled chicken hits just as good as the pulled pork. Mm -hmm. and that challenge was um by the Emory Family Entertainment 7, but now they're just the Emory Family. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll put a clip of that challenge because it's real short in the video right now. Today I am doing the Embry Family Entertaining Sevens Jack Daniels Double Decker Pool Pork Challenge. Hope that's hey, what's it. up, guys? Embry Family Entertaining right here, EFE Squad Seven, part of the One Big Habit Family. Guys, make sure you come check us out. We're doing mukbangs, challenges, bringing all tools. We will be doing it. Look forward to seeing you there. Come subscribe today. Hopefully I said that right. I know I got the concept right. I need some pulled pork. I went with the honey liqueur uh, flavored one. So that's the Tennessee honey liqueur flavored pulled pork. And then you got to make a double decker sandwich. So before we get to this challenge, go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below, baby. And make sure you share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right. You know, I need to make this video a little longer. Hopefully, I can finish it. You get like a six-minute time limit. I do have my timer over there. Um, inside of here, you will see uh, my fork. And then I have my pool port. All right. And I did include a couple thin sliced pickles as well. So let's go ahead and assemble the sandwich real fast. So there's my bottom layer. We're gonna put a generous amount on this layer. Then we're gonna throw Pickle. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more. I, don't, I can't remember, and now I feel bad if they say it had to be a whole amount, but this is definitely a large amount because I don't think anybody else's sandwich was this thick. My next layer. It's crazy because I was just saying, like, for this thing to cost, it doesn't, it's under $10, but I mean, it's like, it's not really a lot. 
I mean, I see it feeding two adults, maybe, but not like a family. So maybe, I guess the $2 difference for the family pack really would have made a difference. But I thought this still would have fed like, you know, at least uh, four people. Or maybe, maybe I'm just eating a lot. So like literally what's left on here is like a spoonful or something, or maybe enough to make a half a little sandwich or something. And I'm going to say that for Miss Shan just in case she wanted it. But hopefully this is big enough. And then we got another pickle. This is the sandwich. Just to see how big mine is. Because I know nobody else is this big. You see how big my head is. All right. So. I just want you to appreciate how much meat I really have on this thing. You got six minutes. I figure I make it swole. Uh, that way it'll last a little longer. Stall a little bit here just to stretch it out. So don't worry, the video, the challenge is coming. I'm going to get some something to drink going. I haven't did an up close pour in a while. Oops, a little overflow there. I hope you can drink. I'm pretty sure you can drink. If not, I'm sorry. All right, so let's get this out the way over there. I like my drink to be on the other side. I do have a straw for me to sip. All right, I got my timer right here. Are you guys ready? Comment below how fast you think I'm gonna eat it. Like I said, I did make it extra thick and I'm gonna try to knock this on out. All right. Let's get ready. Let's do the countdown. You guys can do it with me. Three, two, one, go. Y'all make sure y'all go check out the creators of the challenge. Bring it back. It was a tasty challenge. I got a cup for mine because uh -oh. I learned my you lesson. ASR. We should never give y'all ASMR. You hear that, guys? They probably got good at seeing Mark King over there kicking the microphone. Mm, I'm over here spilling stuff. It. You was all into the poor. You got all into it. You was like intense. Like, this is going to be the best. You're a natural, though. When I say you're a natural, <coughs> you're a natural. I had to drink a little down because we're going to we're gonna do this. Look. That green cherry. That green cherry. So I got two green cherries in there. No. no, King. Yeah, I'm about ready for sandwich number two. Sandwich <laughs> number two. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's try it. What's that? Mm -hmm. Ah, you ain't eat one before? Yeah, I'm about to redo my little thumbnail shot with the mac and cheese in there. Hold on. You ain't in that shot. 
but just in case you are. Sometimes you gotta bite the cherry so you can get a little bit of that juice out. <laughs> Nothing. I might need another one. I knew one. somebody like that. <laughs> I might need another one. Mm. Hey, there we go. That, you said another cherry or another sandwich? That's what you're saying? No, I'm about to eat another sandwich, but mm -hmm. I'm saying sometimes you gotta bite the cherry to get the juice out. What's it say? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like I'm in this can. I just need to drink it. I feel you. That's why I got mine in the cup. It's about that can. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. He's like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh, should I eat some more? Yeah, your first one I gave was kind of small compared to those front ones. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. The front three was the big boys. <laughs> you should have ate one of them first. They like sitting Shoot. up there like... Mm -hmm. I can't be showing you what they were sounding like sitting up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put your broccoli in. Then we're going to be like, where my broccoli, Demita? What she got, huh? Aww. And even gonna laugh at that broccoli like, I don't eat broccoli. Right, she's going to lick it and be like, what is this? <laughs> I don't eat broccoli. I'll take that yellow stuff up there, though. Oh. Is that right? Mm-hmm. When's the last time you ate some yellow stuff? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> wow. mm. Apparently, by you and some others, I had way too much yellow stuff the other day. Oh, really? Oh. Me and cheese. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can't have a lot of cheese, and sometimes you don't have enough cheese. Mm -hmm. They always be saying we had too much cheese. I think they just be hating on us. Sometimes they, wish they had that cheese. I know some people got a lot more cheese, but mm -hmm. like I say, as a cheese lover, I can't hate. <laughs> I'm not Eat your sandwich. What you waiting on? I was trying to eat some of the broccoli, so I was eating some of my vegetables. Really? Mm-hmm. Oops. Mm-hmm. Oops. Give me that. I don't want the people to say he ain't eating none of his vegetables. But technically, my drink's not sugar-free anymore, I guess. I'm going to put them cherries in there. Mm-hmm. Womp, womp, womp. I swear they make things smaller on the labels now, so you really can't read them. Mm-hmm. It's just like, you know, with the TikTok, trying to ban it and stuff, they just want to be like, hey, and you don't know about it. If you can't read it, you don't know about it. I mean, that's just got a new name for the sugars now, which it probably do. It probably got a whole other fake sugar other than the so gross and the, all the stuff they usually put in there. Mm-hmm. So hopefully you guys had a good little uh, St. Patrick's Day we got a couple of festivities here, like they always um, paint our canal green, or you know, dye the canal green. Not like Chicago though, with the Chicago River. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen how they do it, but it's really cool how they mm -hmm. turn the whole thing green, pretty much. So, people was out there, and you can see them when they show the clips. People out there watching them, like it's a big thing, better than the parade. Oh yeah, it's an event. You know, it's just like lighting a Christmas tree event or something, you know? Mm -hmm. People love it. Hopefully you guys joined our Saturday Night Live. If you haven't watched our Saturday Night Live we just did, please go check it out. And What happened? Well, we did a book giveaway. Mm -hmm. We also made some really good Philly cheese steaks too, though. But yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. But what One of our fellow content creators, Sweet Ree. Has a new book out, a children's book. I'll put the link in the description box below. If y'all want to support, support. It's a positive, you know, it's a good thing, you know. It's a good book, positive for the kids. <coughs> Excuse me. I was looking at your sandwich. I'm right? Gonna... I'm like, can you, like, focus? <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, man, that's big. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm probably only going to eat a little bit of that. I was like, mine, I'm over here, my mouth. My eyes is bigger than my stomach today. 
Shoot, I ain't ashamed to admit it. I know. Don't say that. Because that's I'm about to take the bite. And I'm like, why even get it started? Should I even get it started? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe I can just eat around all this stuff like right here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you already put pickles on it. I know. You made that your own now. You put mac and cheese on there too? No, but... You I made it your already, own now. I did already claim it pretty much, so... Mm, at least take a couple bites, baby. Mm-hmm. 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 That's good. And then we got the bread and butter pickles. Mm-hmm. So that kind of gives it that little... From the tang, from the coleslaw, and the... Sweetness of the chicken and the barbecue and mm -hmm. the pickle. I forgot what kind of uh, coleslaw mix I used. Um, you just use the bag and then some. Um, I you use Marzetti. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah, I know much more that sandwich I can eat. I probably eat a couple pieces more of this broccoli and this mac and cheese, man. Was it mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta emphasize the <laughs> mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mm. It's like you be like them people. If you like <laughs> mac and cheese, you know like you ain't too excited about just yeah, it's just mac and cheese. But if you like, man, I got that mac and cheese. <laughs> that just makes it even better. Mm -hmm. Well, you should just live life like that, shouldn't you? Like you'd be like, whatever. I mean, I got 25 cents. Don't things sound better when you sing it? <laughs> I guess so. I worked 48 hours of work this week. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound better, huh? I got paid on Friday. And they shorted me. And <laughs> they took all my money <laughs> right away. No, I can't say this. That's blues. That's kind of sad, there, huh? Yeah, I'm I was saying. I need more upbeat there. Yeah, I guess I might as well have been a, jack, a blues singer, there, huh? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. I was trying to give you your, your time. Ah, uh, no, nah, I wasn't going to go into I it. I thought she was about to, like, you know, take the uh, mm -hmm. the microphone and be like, I met me a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'd be my new honey. <laughs> But all she really wanted was to take all my freaking money. I got them down, oh honey blues. I got them down, oh I ain't got enough money blues. I be trying to follow you, man, but you just be going off on your own little rhythmic. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I live life to my own beat, y'all. I live life. To my own beat. I think Maria and Cowboy said they want to see you dance or something. Mm, um, the last dude. time. I ain't got no problem dancing. Mm -hmm. I've been dancing since I was six. Okay? The movie got to be right. Like, the lighting got to be damn near dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having all black. <laughs> got to be about 50 people in the room. Shoulders, shoulder deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now it's got to be something else going on on the stage. So you ain't looking at me. <laughs> and I need a whole bottle of something. <laughs> well, I can't even see. So I won't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I told you that I had one particular time when I was staying in Ohio for a little bit. And I went out to a club and man, I got so messed up. Mm -hmm. I was dancing for hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, bro, you can't dance. You know what I'm saying? But who is you dancing with? Just people? Man, girls and stuff. I mean, that's good. I've had some friends that get some messed up. They dance with, like, poles and, like, chairs. And I mean, like I trees. dance with whoever wanted to dance with me. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, I just let them take the lead. Especially if they grinding me out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to lean on this wall real quick. You that's grind, what I call dancing. Grind me on out. Is that what you should tell them? Can I have a napkin, please? <laughs> you said, girl, you don't want to dance. You, you want to grind me out. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. What kind of club am I at now? You know what I'm saying? I'm at a regular club. This is not the adult <laughs> it's not club. This is a gentleman's club. No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> not at all. I do not go to those things. 
I do Man, not partake. I would stay away from you though. What if there was some guy in the club that was like had a shirt that was like, <laughs> you know, just come grind on me or grind me out. And they made a song. <laughs> Didn't they make a song that like that? Grind on me. Didn't they? Baby, watch it. Grind on me. Yeah. See, I ain't alone. I'm going to get me some shirts just saying I grind. Like song. You was like, it's my song. It's my song. <laughs> Let's put that, get it. Put that on. Put that on. Whoever that you was. Just stand up against the wall Who like was that? This. 112. Or... It was Pretty Ricky, I believe. Pretty Ricky grind <laughs> on me. Yeah. yeah, like, give us that blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you got a public <laughs> hat on a t-shirt that says grind on me. I mean, obviously, I'd have to obviously be grinding on you the whole oh, time so no okay. one else would do it. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need you to walk like four feet over there. No. See? Then as soon as they come up and be like, you can do a break. Like, I know you was not about to cry. I'm not <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to take more bites of that sandwich. It looked good. I don't think I'm going to touch it, though. I know. I've been kind of wanting you ain't, Did you ever bite yours? Yeah, man. You took the littlest bite ever. Man, look at that. You just ate the meat that was hanging off the front. Mm-hmm. Look. Mm-hmm. I see, that's how you make somebody do something they want to do. You dare them. Talk about them enough, they'll do it. Double job dare, huh? Mm-hmm. I did like that show, Double Dare. I wanted to be on there one time. I mean, at least once. <laughs> Everybody want to be on there. Like I said, we used to grow up wanting to be on Bozo the Clown and pitch the look. I swear, I'm going to set that bucket pitch game up. Mm-hmm. If me and Miss Shan ever do a, a, a viral video for playing a game, we're going to be playing... The Bozo game. So if you steal my idea, then I'm watching you. Let's we do about it. to pull out that classic Bozo gear. We might even pay somebody to dress up like a clown. Let's do it. I and got so some we can do it. You know what I'm saying? We'll put the little background like we on WGN in the morning watching Bozo the Clown. Oh my God, I used to love that. Like you know I was saying? religious. Yeah, like, yeah. I'd be, be late so mad. The bus. I'd be so mad when it wasn't on, when something else would be ah, on instead yeah. of it. And I'd be like, I'm about to be late to the bus. Is the little boy to win the $50? Right. <laughs> You know, shoot. Well, I, I guess that time I was probably just catching a ride with my parents to school. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, my parents was taking. Yeah, I don't. I didn't there. catch the pub. I didn't catch the bus. So I switched to public school. Mm. So I went to private school for the first nine years, and then I went to public school. So mm. I always got dropped off at school. But Me too. It was a difference catching the bus, having to walk to the corner, no matter what the weather is, to catch that bus. You know, had a bus. You said when I did ride it, which was like third grade or so, it picked me up at my house. No. Like, it would just start because like, so many kids. Our neighborhood had, like, one, two, three, like, four stops. Like, it made a big circle. So, you already knew if you was late, you just catch it at the fourth stop because that's ah. close to the first stop because it's a big circle. See, in my case, it would be, like, you late, your mama just, or daddy just drive you to someone's so Ah, place. yeah, so yeah. Nah, you had that option of catching that bus. <laughs> if you missed that first stop, say, if it was coming at... Whatever, 7.42 in the morning or whatever it was, you know by 7.50 it's going to be on that other block. So you got to you gotta huff it to that bus stop. Mm-hmm. And then you're getting all sweaty before you go to school if it's, you know what I'm saying, hot out. But you had to do what you, you had didn't to really do. worry about getting sweaty back then? Like, I didn't worry about sweat till I was probably like... I mean, when I started liking girls, I didn't want to be funky, you know what I'm saying? I started wearing cologne in high school, really. They did in elementary, but, you know, high school is a good story. Eighth grade, I had my first boyfriend, and I started trying to get, you know, pretty for. I didn't want to wear my glasses no more. I was like, I need contacts. <laughs> so Can't wear saying. glasses. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the boys, too. I remember one of my little the boyfriends I had, his mom was like, he's been washing his face every day. <laughs> he's been putting on deodorant. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't change them drawers, finally. <laughs> Because right. he got him a girl. He like. <laughs> That's so different. boys take baths. That's so different though how the boys perspective. You know, I got a woman. What what y'all do versus us, you know. Mm-hmm. We might just make sure we got a nice outfit. Make sure our hair look okay. But like the hygiene. Well, in certain parts. But the hygiene is a big one for you guys. Especially mm-hmm. when you're a young adolescent teen. Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of hormones and stuff going mm-hmm. on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those were the days. I think we'll do. We don't need to have a whole another. Not this video, but another video. We'll we'll touch on that subject. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, guys. Well, I think I had enough today. I'm ready to get up out of here. I think so too, baby. You did good. Give me, give me chef kiss. Mm-hmm. Chef kiss. She must want something later. 
But look, guys, you already know. Before we get up out of here, I need y'all to do something for me. What's that? My barbecuing baby named Triple B. I need mean, you to give this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe it. Hit that notification bell. Look, guys, we woke up today. We are blessed. You have another chance to go out there and give it your best. Excuse me. Make sure you go out and help someone. Become a better person. And be the blessing that the world needs. And if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Because why? It starts with you. Don't forget that. We love you. We hope that you're doing all right. And if you're not, always, we are here. Reach out. Reach out. Let us know because we want to make sure everyone is... Mental health is mental, strong. Mentally okay. Yeah. All right. I'm Big Belly Bob. I'm Michelle. Bye. <laughs>